Trains are there. We got Father Seven O Two One, which was coupled. Okay, this is the train that was coupled to Father Seven O Two One. There, it was coupled to Father Seven Double O Six on the night of the crash. And yeah, and there is Double O Six. the culprit of the crash they still got a cover on because well yeah because of the derailment this train is for Kerry 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 One thing is, this is the first time we've been allowed out over the water for months and this is only the first, the second week of normal Kirby services. So, um, this is absolutely crazy. I still sometimes, I, I do actually have a weird feeling in me tummy, like a nervous feeling because this is the first time that this is this only the second week that this line has been back open. This is the only place, it's one of the only places you stop at one of, on the side of one of these old signal boxes. One of the only stations. That's why I like this line so much. It's quite a um, scenic route, isn't it? gonna wait for this train to leave 150 101 it is 110 I mean so to say um okay there's quite a lot of yellow jackets here I might not stay here to get the horn if you get too close
Thank you to the driver of 150 I would have been a little bit disappointed if I'd just been, if I'd just risked getting stung. Oh yeah. Uh, okay, I wasn't expecting this, but we've got a freight train coming our way. Um. This is, I assume, this is the freight train I saw about five minutes. No, not five minutes ago, but a while ago when I was on the way. It's not moving yet, is it? And when it's going through, I will do this honking thing again. was absolutely amazing. I can't believe that. Let's put me drink down. That was amazing. Those last three tones as well, they were absolutely thrilling. Oh my God, they were awesome. Although the 66 tone is very loud. But that's what I like about the 66s is, is that they are loud when they toot the horns. Um, yeah. <laughs> wow, there it goes off in the distance. And it will be passing our train in a minute. Hello, we are on the faulty train, which is 507001. We, I sometimes call it the faulty train with my mates because 507001 has had quite a few faults over the years. Like, some of my mates, every time they go on this 507001, it always breaks down on them somehow. <laughs> Hmm. Let's see if we have any faults today. Maybe a defective door or whatever. It can be any type of fault, really, that you can get on this. And it's time to shut the doors, so this door should be shutting in 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, now them again. So far no faults. I don't catch you guys in a bit. Right. 
we are just about to pass 507006 again. Here she is with her cover on her. The Star of the Drowment, which, in fact, this CCT, CCTV footage, I might link that in this video, where this train, where you actually can see the derailment of this train, 507006 of that train there. And then, um, yeah. And there, here we're just about to pass 507021 here, which, in fact, here is 021. And 021 here was the other train that was involved with the derailment. This was the back bit of the service. That was involved. Anyways, yeah. So there we have it. The two trains of the Kirby derailment. Guys, so is it just me or is or does it look like we're only we're the only passengers on this train? <laughs> wow, this is crazy. Anyway, she's coming in into American Head Central. There goes five seven zero two six. Hi guys, um, there's just one thing before I end the vlog um, that I want to mention is that, um, let me just... Just mute this so I don't get copyrighted. That the driver of 507006 tragically was arrested this week after being shaken up. He's now been arrested as well. And um, yeah, I don't, I fairly, I really don't think it's fair on the driver because it, I don't think it was his fault. In all honesty, I don't think it was the driver's fault. Plus, why would he be shaking if it wasn't? if it if it was his fault right so i don't know why they've gone and arrested the driver and gone well the blame's on you driver no they didn't blame the they didn't blame the their own trains and they didn't blame the tracks they blamed the driver why did they blame the driver no one knows they just went straight to the driver and going as soon as he was better, they went, Oi, you're going to jail. That, that's really not fair. Goodness, it's... I I honestly think, unless they've got proof that it was his fault, they can't arrest him. But they haven't even got any proof. So why did they arrest him if they've got no proof that it was his fault? It's just... Which, it probably isn't his fault. And yet he's going to suffer going to jail anyway. That's completely fair, isn't it? Anyways. I hope he gets what he deserves, which is a nice wad of cash. Basically. I hope he gets a nice wad of cash. If it's not his fault. If it is his fault, well done to the authorities. But they shouldn't just guess ahead anyway. But... If it isn't his fault, I hope he gets a nice big wad of cash. Which I don't think it's his fault anyway. So, you know, when they can prove that it's not his fault, I really, really do hope that they pay him a lot of money. Because this is not fair. Why would... This is what they did to the driver in Scotland last year when it derailed because of the landscape they blamed the driver them as well and they unfairly arrested the driver them as well it's 
it's not funny. I'm not laughing at it, but I, I honestly think it's stupid and ridiculous, and um, this has to be put a stop to. Anyways, before I start ranting on again, I'm just going to take a nice big breathe and end the video. So, guys, thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you all in the next vlog. Bye.